Good morning, y'all. It's Sheila. Thank you for stopping by and spending a few minutes of your day with me. I've had a lot of questions about my hair. Uh, is this my natural color? Do I color it? Do I mind telling if I color it? If I color it, do I do it at home or at the salon? And what color do I use? So we're going to answer all that today. Auburn is my natural hair color. My hair has been auburn since I was a small child. Yes, I color my hair. No, I don't do it at the salon anymore. What some people don't know is certain health conditions, certain medications can make your hair respond to color differently. Certain autoimmune disorders, some of those people that suffer with those, they aren't able to color their hair anymore. Um, how much gray do I have? I'm 20 to 25% gray. And I insulted someone in a comment. I mentioned to someone I needed to color my roots. And they're like, but Sheila, gray hair is beautiful. And it is. It, gray hair is beautiful. I don't have enough for it to be beautiful. No, I don't have enough. About 12 years ago, I was at the salon getting highlights and lowlights, you know, in the Auburn family. And at the end of that procedure, my hair turned purple. Purple. My hairstylist thought that the tubes she used were mislabeled from the supply house. She threw them away. We worked for four hours trying to get the purple out of my hair. Went back a few months later, she had new tubes and my hair turned purple. She said, we gotta talk. Something's going on. I said, well, you know, I have a thyroid out and I'm on thyroid replacement therapy. She goes, what other meds are you taking? I'm like, well, I'm on methotrexate. That's a chemo drug for rheumatoid. And I'm on IV biologics. Yes, yeah, certain meds can affect the way your hair responds to color. It's rare. But my body chemistry is strange. It is. And that's what happened to me. So we decided I would color my hair at home. Doing the roots only. This is my preferred color. Clairol Expert in the shade Medium Auburn 5R. And I only do my roots. I don't like putting a box color from the root to the end. I think those box colors can be drying, or at least on my hair they can. You know, thyroid issue, dry hair. I just don't like doing it. I colored my roots three days ago. Can you tell where I started and where I stopped? I section my hair off and I do just a one inch section. I'm not out in the sun a lot. I use a shampoo for color treated hair. Monate is good for color treated hair. And my hair color stays true from the box. So yeah, I do color my hair. That's what I like to use. I have a friend that colors her, her whole head from root to end every four to five weeks. I do every four to five weeks, and her hair is dry and brittle. She does it herself at home. You can look at her hair and it'll break. If you're using, if you're stagnant in your hair color like I am, I'm content with my almost natural hair color, and you're going to use the same color over and over and over. Just do your roots. Don't put that from root to end and dry out your hair. The other thing I do, I only use half of that. I saved a bottle from before. It only takes half of that kit to do my roots. So one box does my hair twice. And I do color my hair, color my roots every four to five weeks. So there you go. That's how I do my hair. I wish I could go to the salon. It's hard to get the back of my head and sometimes I make a mess. I have an old shower curtain I put down on the bathroom floor so I don't have to scrub red hair color out of the grout in the tile. So yeah, I wish I could go to the salon, but there's something that's not in these at-home kits that works for my hair. And that's how I do it. Y'all have a great day. Make it a great day. I'll see y'all later. Bye now.